Of the 19 athletes the Philippines has sent to the Tokyo Olympics, only one is a reigning world champion. Yet despite making international waves, Nesti Patesio is flying under the radar heading into the 2021 Games. The 29-year-old from Davao City stands as good a chance as any of the athletes to bring home the first gold medal in the country's history. The featherweight boxer joins her flyweight teammate Irish Magno as the first two female boxers the country has ever sent to the Olympics. Patesio may be peaking at the right time in her career. After early disappointments in international tournaments, Patesio won her first Southeast Asian Games gold in 2019 and then defeated the Russian in Russia to win the gold at the 2019 World Championships. If Patesio seems calm despite her dangerous profession, it's because she has always been pushing herself to the limit. There were no girls for her to compete against when she had her first fight at age 11, so she faced a boy who was three years older and more experienced than she was. It kicked off an undefeated streak against the six boys she has fought. I won. I won. I won. And so I, I was so happy because uh, um, a lot of people, uh, especially the especially women, uh, they come to me, they congratulate. Some some of them gave me a, a free food because I won. Uh, girl power, girl power, so they are so happy. The experience helped build her confidence and prepare her to face the best fighters in the world. Why should I scare the world-class boxer? Uh, I already box with the boys that I know that their power is different. Despite having traded punches with boys, she says she still feels that men don't give women boxers their due respect, and she intends to do something about it. A lot of people, especially men, they are thinking that boxing is for only boys. But uh, as uh, women, uh, we 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 already earn a lot uh, for that respect. So uh, hopefully that uh, after this Olympic or the next generation, uh, they they will treat us like how they treat with the men boxers well. Philippine sports fans already know not to count out female athletes, not after Hidalin Diaz ended the country's 20-year medal drought at the 2016 Olympics. Patesio, Magno, and men's flyweight Carlo Paalam have been training together in Thailand. Patesio has even been sparring with larger women to prepare. She knows how much bringing home a medal would mean. Uh, I am ready. Uh, I know I'm ready for so. Uh, God knows everything, for, so I let God and I'll work, I'll work for it. Beyond national pride, there's a personal motivation for Patesio. The Olympics were not just her dream, but also that of her first trainer, her father, Teodoro, who first introduced her to the sport at age seven. Even though their relationship is at times strained, she knows she is carrying his dreams with her to Tokyo. Um, I never told this to him, but I say we're not really open to each other. I, I know that he's proud. He's really proud of me right now. Um, I know that he knows po, that uh, this is for him. This is for them. Po. So, even I'm not, I'm not always say, po, na, this is for you. Well, I know he knows. Po. Everyone knows. Po.